Fung Hon. Advisor Handbook. Underscore dot. Contents. Purpose. The Viet Cong Infrastructure. Background. Organization. Basic Fung Huang Documents. Periodic Publications. Basic Documents Pertaining to the Fung. Huang Program. Operational Procedures. VCI Target Personality Data Forms and. Offender Dossiers. Counterpart Relationships. Advisory Mission Relationships. Fung Huang Advisors Legal Position and. Responsibilities. Arrest and Apprehension. Classification of Detainees, PW or Civil. Defendant. Province Security Committee. In-Country Training. Support. Fung Huang Publicity. Operational Planning Guide. Plus Slash Plus Inspection Guide. Fingerprinting. VCI Neutralization and Identification. Information System. List of Commonly Used Abbreviations. Purpose. The purpose of this handbook is to provide general guidelines for Fung Huang advisors on the Fung Huang program, its mission, and organization. It should also be utilized by other U.S. advisors whose counterparts are represented on Fung Huang dot committees and slash or involved in Fung Huang activities in Critter. That the general advice given will be coordinated and directed towards the same objective, the neutralization of the Viet Cong infrastructure dash colon. The Viet Cong Infrastructure The Viet Cong Infrastructure is defined as the political AHD administrative organization through which the Viet Cong control or seek control over the South Vietnamese people. It embodies the Communist Party of South Vietnam.M at the national level. It also includes the leadership and administration of parallel front organizations, the Provisional Revolutionary Government with its subordinate revolutionary committees, and the National Front for the Liberation of South Vietnam. Both the PRP and the front organizations extend from the national through the hamlet level. The VCI is the communist shadow government which provides money, recruits, supplies, intelligence and support to VC military units. Its primary mission was to attain effective control of the people and territory of South Vietnam by becoming a viable alternative to the GVN from hamlet to national level. Control of VC military units is vested in the VCI. 2. Background Article 4 of the Constitution of the Republic of Vietnam, promulgated 1 in 1967 states. A. The Republic opposes communism in any form. B. Any activity designed to publicize or carry out communism is prohibited. In accordance with Article 4, the President of Vietnam in Decree No. 280A, TT SL, July 1, 1968, promulgated the Fung Huang Program. The intent and aim of the program is to utilize existing civilian and military agencies in a systematic and coordinated effort to destroy the Viet Cong infrastructure throughout Vietnam. The government of Vietnam chose the name Fung Huang to identify the program. The Fung Huang WRS adopted as a symbol of the program. In Chinese and Vietnamese mythology the Fung Huang is a good omen of marital happiness, peace, and good fortune. The Fung Huang program coordinates GVN agencies in the attack on the VCI by placing VCI intelligence gathered by all agencies in 110-CADI-0N, systematically collating anti-VCI operations based on the Fung Huang Center 1S data bank. Fung Huang is not a separate agency, organization, or entity. Fung Huang centers are entirely dependent on the Fung Huang program member agencies, National Police, RF, PF, Rural Development Cotter, ARVN, Chiu Hoi, NPFF, VIS, etc. The U.S. advisory effort in support of Fung Huang is called Phoenix. Phoenix is composed entirely of U.S. advisors working with Fung Huang centers at national, regional, provincial, and district levels. Substantial reliance is placed on all other U.S. advisors to the Fung Huang member agencies. Phoenix is not an intelligence unit or separate command, it has no intelligence holdings or collection capability. Phoenix personnel and staff are presently members of MACORDS at every echelon under the direct command of the senior MACV, 
Corps officer at each echelon. 3. Organization. Ganels at one only, the Feng Huang program ones represented by national, regional, and provincial committees composed, at each ekbalan, of the heads of all participant agencies. Subordinate to these committees are Feng Huang centers. At the national government level, the Feng Huang block of the Directorate General of National Police coordinates the program throughout the country. There are four core Feng Huang centers. At the province level, Province Intelligeno and Operat 1 ONS coordinate JNG centers have been established and at district level Drojks have been established. The national and regional offices are tasked with planning, training, inspecting, and overall program management for subordinate echelons in their respective areas of competence. PIOCCs and DIOCCs at provinces and districts serve to coordinate collection and collation of anti-YOI intelligence and anti-YCI operations. The agencies represented on Feng Huang committees are the National Police the Special Police, the National Police Field Force, G2, G3, the Military Security Service, Chiu Hoi Service, Vietnamese Information Service, Provincial Reconnaissance Unit, and Rural Development Cotter. The sections of Feng Huang SOP No. 3 which pertain to the various echelons of Feng Huang centers are, core, province, and district. 4. Basic Feng Huang Documents. RVN Presidential Decree 288 TT, SL dated I July 1968 prescribed the establishment of the Feng Huang program. The SOPS are implementing instructions issued by the authority of the Minister of the Interior by virtue of his position as Chairman of the Central Fung HNG Committee. SOP No. 1 delineates the organizational structure of the program. SOP No. 2 prescribes the basic tools and working procedures of an intelligence and operations coordinating center with special emphasis on the DIOs. SOP No. 3 is an amplification of the first two which covers in depth the operational responsibilities of each echelon of the Fung Huang program. Finally, a current breakout of executive and significant Viet Cong infrastructure cotters defines the target of the Feng Huang program, it is a GVN slash US agreed upon listing of Viet Cong positions which are considered to be of the VCI cotter. 5. Periodic Publications 1. The Phoenix Bi-Weekly 2. The MACVJ2 Monthly Summary of VCL Activities 3. The Combined Documents Exploitation Center Readouts 4. Combined Intelligence Center Vietnam Readouts 5. VCI Information System 6. Phoenix End of Year Rep Crit. 6. Basic Documents Pertaining to the Phung Huang Program U.S. Documents Title 1. MACV Directive 10-20, Organization Functions and responsibility for support to the attack on CTHVC infrastructure, short title, Honix, dated May 23, 1969, confidential. 2 MACV Directive 525-36, .Phoenix Opations, dated 18 May 1970. 3 MACV Directive 381-43 Reporting on Neutralization of Viet Cong Infrastructure, Dated 3 February 1970, Confidential. 4 MACV Directive 381-51, Military Intelligence National Police Field Forces. 5 VCI, Modus Operandi. 6 MACV Directive 37-2, Financial Administration Military Support of L, Acification Fund. 7 De Pamphlet No. 550-106, the Communist Insurgent Infrastructure in South Vietnam, A Study of Organization and Strategy. 8 MACV Directive 525-222, SIOP Pacification Supper Priorities, June 19, 1970. 9 MACV Directive 525-208, SIOP Support of RVNPHUN Huang Program. 10 MACV Directive VE340-1, Government of Vietnam National Police Records System, dated January 14, 1969. 11 Cords PSD National Identity Registration Project Procedure Manual, Revised Edition, 
dated 1970. GVN Documents 1. Presidential Decree 288-TT-SL, dated July 1, 1968 Secret 2. Lbung Huang Sop 1 Dat D23 July 196,8, Confidential. 7. 3 Fung Huang Sop 2, dated November 1, 1968, Confidential. 4 Fung Huang Sop 3, dated February 1, 1970, Confidential. 5 Handbook, Current Breakout of VCI Executive and Significant Cotter 26. Ministry of Interior Circular No. 757 BNV, CT, 12A, M. Dated March 21, 1969, Subject, Classification and Rehabilitation of Offenders 7. Ministry of Interior Circular No. 2212, BNV, CT, 13A, M. Dated 20 August 1969, Subject, Improvements of TH Methods of Resolving the Status of Offenders 8. Prime Minister's Directive No. 00401, UBPH, 2, UPTT, NK dated April 13, 1970, Subject, Information to Villag and Hamlet Officials Concerning Operations and Arrest by Fung Huang Operations 9. Prime Minister's Warrective No. 1293TH.T, PCL, M, D8 November 27, 1968, Regulations for all ministries and services with respect to capture and detention O suspects 10. Prime Minister's Directive No. 1690, OBPH, VPTT, KH, K, dated November 10, 1969, Subject, Guarantee for VC Defendants. 11 Prime Minister's Directive No. 1206-PTH.T-BDPT-HC, Dated April 24, 1970, Subject, Prescript Bedtime for the Exploitation and Procedures Applied to Captured VC Cotters. 12 Prime Ministers Directive No L440 slash PTHT slash BDPT slash KH, Dated May 13, 1970, Subject, The Public Prosecutor's Role in Pacification and Development. 13 PRIE Ministers Decree No.069 SL slash THT slash BDPT, dated May 26, 1970, subject, Integration of Fung Huang into the National Police. 14 Central Fung Huang Committee Memorandum Hashtag 1082 slash UBPH slash 2 slash VPTT slash NH slash K, subject, Utilization of VCI Target Folders dated August 10, 1970. 15 Interministry Directive, Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Justice, Hashtag 110-SNV-ANCT, 1-D, Hashtag 02146, QP, HCRV, 1, B, dated February 28, 1970, Fingerprinting of Detainees, Application of the Unique Disposition Form, Wanted and Cancellation Notices. 8. Operational Procedures The mission of an Intelligence and Operations Coordinating Center is to neutralize the Viet Cong infrastructure. In order to effectively do so, it is axiomatic that first you know the enemy. th 4 files, and procedures are necessary for Fung Huang centers. Once a suspect VCI is identified, two index cards are prepared and catalogued both in alphabetical and village-slash-hamlet files, the next step is to develop a VEL target folder on the individual, a good target folder will enable the cotter to be specifically targeted and will provide sufficient evidence to enable the province security committee to sentence him to the maximum time his importance warrants, when he is captured, once a target folder is established, it must be subjected to case control. Intelligence gaps are to be identified and information requirements levied to fill them, other files and charts such as source control records, VCR organization charts photographic files and files on guides, will each in their own way tend to sophisticate the process of specific targeting of VCL cotters. Consistently updated organization charts will particularly aid in the development of operations to neutralize entire VCL staff elements or organizational echelons, 
and Roach is not functioning efficiently unless it regularly and successfully targets specific VCL cotters and organizations for neutralization. Files are only a tool by which to accomplish the mission. 9. VCI Target Personality Data Forms and Offender Dossiers Particular attention must be given to this important aspect. Careful professional preparation OTVCR target folders contain and dash both the VCL target personality data form and the offender dossier for each and every member of the VCL throughout the country is the foundation from which successful operations can be run and sentencing be assured by province security committees. The folders must contain all the available data on an individual and be constantly reviewed and updated. Sample form VCL target personality data form is in SOP.no. 3. It has been reproduced and distributed to all PLOCCS and DIOCCs in Safioin copies to establish folders on every identified VCL member. Offender dossier forms have also been disseminated. Full use should be made of the information requirement form and procedures to build the folder. Copies of source reports captured documents, interrogation reports, and debriefing reports, and all other relevant documents are to be filed in this folder so that all information on a specific target is in one place where it can be reviewed easily and quickly. Appropriate information must be constantly and systematically extracted from the documents in the folder and posted to both the liver target arsenality data form and the offender dossier. 10. Counterpart relationships. Results achieved by a Feng Huang advisor are in direct proportion to the closeness of his relationships with his counterparts. Ideally, such relationships are based on mutual respect, trust, and friendship, neither are achieved in a day. Before advice can be tendered an advisor must comprehend a complicated situation and program. The disadvantages of youth and low rank can be overcome by initial eagerness to learn what your counterparts can teach you and by taking action only when you are sure of your grounds. The gvater your friendship with your counterparts, the better you will understand and thus be able to advise them. However, do not hesitate to be firm when the situation warrants it. Advisory Mission Relationships All U.S. advisors at every echelon share in the Feng Huang Advisory Mission. This is an explicit obligation of advisors to GVN agencies WTH representatives who participate on Feng Huan committees and work in PIOCCs and NISAs, HUD is an implicit obligation of all pacification advisors to this program, the spearhead of pacification. Feng Huan personnel are responsible for close coordination and cooperation with all elements of the advisory mission and especially with the advisors to intelligence and operations agencies which participate directly in the Feng Huang program. It is the responsibility of all senior advisors to ensure that all members of the advisory team are knowledgeable of and fully support the GVN Feng Huang campaign against the Viet Cong infrastructure. 12. Feng Huang Advisors Legal Position and Responsibilities Feng Huang Advisors have the same legal status in Vietnam as other U.S. military personnel. In their role as advisors they are under the same restraints of international law, military law, and regulations as other U.S. military personnel. Their advice and assistance must be within the confines of this legal framework. Participation in actions contrary to law are expressly prohibited. If violations are observed, the advisor wants to make his objections known, cease any participation in the illegal activity, and make a full report of the incident to his immediate superior for corrective action. A detailed explanation of the advisor's legal position and responsibility once found in MACV Directive 525-36, dated May 18, 1970. Arrest and Apprehension a person suspected of an offense against the national security may be arrested and taken in Takutoti and held up to 24 hours for questioning and investigation by an apprehending agency at ER than the national police he dot must, however, be placed in national police zero custody no later than 24 hours following apprehension. All arrests must be made pursuant to a warrant issued by a competent judicial authority J, which for present purposes, 
includes province chiefs mayors diatri ljt chiefs and p lice dot chiefs an arrest defective due to lack of a warrant however can later be corrected by issuance of a warrant x lost facto by an official having authority to do so initial y u.s personnel are not authorized to arrest gvn citizens the following may execute an arrest order a judicial police hb military police c military security service d national police j which includes individuals of the national police field force and e any person who witnesses the commission of a crime in flagranti delicto citizens arrest once an individual has been turned over to the national police that agency must complete its preliminary inquiry and identification processing within two days following that a maximum of three more days may be allowed for transfer of the suspect to the province interrogation center where a supplementary investigation may continue for as long as 30 days the province chief next may expend three days in reviewing the dossier for adequacy after which the case is forwarded to the province security committee which must sentence release or refer the individual for trial by military court the committee has seven days within which to act deviation from the foregoing time schedule must be authorized by the ministry of interior classification of detainees pw or civil defendant advisors should frame their ad blocius to tehe Province security committees were created in 1957 to provide an administrative method of determining the status of detainees considered threats to national security. The PSC is an administrative as opposed to a judicial body. It may impose administrative detention in the case of those persons reasonably believed to endanger the national security. The minimum composition of a PSC is, province chief or city mayor. Chairman Public Prosecutor Slash Judge Legal Advisor Sector Commander Member Province or City Council Member Member National Police Chief Member Military Security Service Chief Member Chief of Internal Security Briefing Officer Mole Circular No. 2212 requires each PSC to meet at least once a week. Suspect detainees may appear before the PSC but have no such right. The members of the PSC review the dossiers of the suspects to make their determination. The PSC has several courses of action available, one it may release those considered innocent. Two it may forward to military court those on whom sufficient evidence is available for legal conviction of a specific crime. Three it may impose administrative detention of up to two years upon those reasonably believed to threaten the national security. 4. It may determine residence for those determined to be security threats. 5. It may forward the case to a civil court. 6. It may forward the case to another province for disposition. 16. 7. It may classify the suspect as a PW and transfer him into PW channels. 8. It may recommend that the suspect be drafted into the army. And try detention basic evidence requirements the laws prescribing offenses against the national security define mere membership or function in the Viet Cong infrastructure as a threat to the national security this recognition is based upon the right of a government to protect itself from violent overthrow membership or function may be inferred from acts or intelligence data it is imperative to have available a comprehensive dossier if and try detention is to be obtained there is no rigid rule regarding the amount or type of evidence necessary to support and try detention. However, TE Province Security Y Committee must have a reasonable belief based on COR roborated evidence that the suspect is a threat to the national security. Not being a criminal conviction, the burden of proof is less than that required by a court. The burden of proof is on the prosecution which must show that the accused is, in fact, a member of the Communist Party or exercises a position or function in the party or any associated front organization. Proof of position or function in the Viet Cong infrastructure is sufficient to convict. Particular care should be taken to direct prosecution effort away from total reliance on province interrogation center reports and confessions. Effort should be made to point out that other forms of evidence are much more convincing. The elements of proof are membership position or function in the vci as indicated by a incriminating documents to include but not limited to membership lists of communist organizations 
enemy correspondence, diaries, notebooks, to include copies or extracts of such documentation, or be enemy weapons or material, found in the possession of the accused when apprehended, or 17. See eyewitnesses' accomplices, accessories, or rally or statements regarding the position or function of the accused, or d. Interrogation statements or confessions, are admissible and used extensively in and try hearings, but no suspect may be convicted on the basis of an interrogation statement alone, or e. Intelligence reports, are admissible one and that there is no prohibition against hearsay. All intelligence and police reports, and witness statements must be included in the dossier and must be one identified by number and name of source except where there is a danger of source compromise. Once position or function within the Viet Cong infrastructure is proven, sentencing is automatic. The Green Book indicates the duration of detention for each position or function. Renewable and try detention of up to two years may be given by the Province Security Committee. 18. In Country Training US personnel The in-country training of US personnel is conducted at the Fung Huang Advisors Orientation Course at Vung Tau. The course is d.easing to acquaint both Fung Huang Advisors and other personnel with those GVN agencies that support the Fung Huang program and with the problems encountered within the program. In conjunction with the orientation, a two-day D1QCC practical exercise is conducted utilizing experienced NIOCC advisors as monitors. The intent of the exerc ISE is to familiarize the participants with the operation of DI. GVN personnel, GVN personnel attend Fung Huang schools located in the four military regions. Each reg, mall school ones repeats full four train and G, those personnel operating within the DIOCCs and PIOCCs in their day-to-day -day job. The instruction includes familiars at lawn with the capable one ties of supporting agencies. All DIOC arid Ploxy personnel should attend the Fung Huang school within their respective military regions. 19. Support. All American advisors assigned to, or associated with, the Fung Huang program should be acquainted with the general guidance on Buport matters contained in Annex I to MACV Directive 10 to 20 as changed. Annex I was disseminated in the form of Change 1 to MACV Directive 10 to 20. Further CNGs were contained in various messages and memorandums. It is essential that Fung Huang advisors are aware that the general guidance contained in Annex I has been further implemented within the various military regions by written or oral instructions. The specifics normally found in military region implementations are based on the local situation, local conditions, and policies, and local personalities. Pyong Huang advisors must be flexible and both acquaint and adapt themselves to the local ground rule LSL on support. It must be noted, Ho Eve, that certain aspects of support are basic throughout South Vietnam. We must continuously direct American advisory, coordinating, and supporting programs to the Vietnamese Phuong Huang program. In the supporting role, Fung Huang advisors are presently committed to provide adequate support to Fung Huang down to and including district level Fung Huang activities, such support includes logistical and maintenance support of Fung Huang centers at district, province, autonomous city, and regional levels. As the reader will note in sections I and 3 of Annex I, MACV Directive 10 to 20, primary support to Fung Huang centers is based on the availability and use of monies. Fung Huang advisors must request such monies from province senior advisors advisory pacification funds for province and district centers, and from like funds at region and autonomous city levels for regional and autonomous city centers. The monies obtained for support of Fung Huang are then used for local procurement of necessary supplies, equipment, and maintenance for the Fung Huang centers. Naturally, the level of piaster support provided obtained will be based on the availability of monies and the 2. Relative importance attributed to Fung Huang activities in the local area, as well as the initiative and resourcefulness of the individual Fung Huang advisor. Pia's terse to operate regional Fung Huang schools come from the Cords Contingency Fund. Administration for such Pia's terse is accomplished at regional and national levels. 
Requests for such monies are submit under the provisions of paragraph 7.C, MACV Directive 37-2. As indicated in paragraphs 5 and 6, above, primary support to Phung Huang activities is by means of the Vietnamese piaster, through American support systems, for local procurement of goods and services. The logistical support for Phung Huang advisory staffs is different than that heretofore mentioned for Phung Huang activities. Phung Huang advisory staffs are provided logistica support, for office supplies and equipment, from MACV military property books. This support is provided, through military channels, by the property book accounts of the respective province advisory team of the province in which the advisors are assigned. The Corps Headquarters Advisory Team designates the property book account to support the Fung Huang staff at region level. Difficulties encountered in providing adequate support to Fung Huang centers and for regional schools which can be directly attributed to insufficient allocation of monies, and are determined to be detrimental to the mission of the Fung Huang activity, should be brought to the immediate attention of the military region of courts. If additional monies are considered definitely required to adequately support Fung Huang activities, a written request for a specific amount of additional piasters, with complete justification, should be administratively forwarded from the Mr. Dup Cords to HQMACV, attention, MACORD CDDCA. Such requests should be initiated only if sufficient monies cannot be reallocated within the MR itself. 21. Difficulties concerning logistical support of Fung Huang at Viso Y staffs which may develop and cannot be resolved at Mr. level or which may require higher authority decisions should be directed by written communication T, Hrukam MAND channels to HQMACV Atentlon, J42. Reference the two preceding paragraphs, the Fung Huang advisory staff at Mr. level should forward a copy of such correspondence to the Phoenix Directorate, Saigon, for information and monitoring purposes. 22. Fung Huang Publicity Widespread popular understanding is essential to the success of the Fung Huang program. Various GVN agencies that communicate with the population on a regular basis must be encouraged to provide meaningful publicity to the Fung Huang program. Coordination between the DIOCE, PIOCE, and the local Vietnamese Information Service and Rubnif Polwar Cotter will facilitate widespread dissemination of information about the Phung Huang program. The communications media available through VIS and Polwar agencies includes face-to-face -face persuasion, posters, handbills, newspapers, leaflets, radio, television, and motion pictures. Fung Huang advisors are encouraged to coordinate with province SIOP advisors and province SIOP slash Polwar slash civic action slash VIS advisors to obtain publicity for the Fung Huang program by paralleling GVN requests through U.S. advisory channels. 23. Operational Planning Guide. I General. 1 NP, PSB, MSS, PRU, 8-2, RD, establish informant networks throughout, the area of responsibility. 2 Situation Section Develop a current counterintelligence estimate for the area. 3 Prepare a counterintelligence collection worksheet listing all intelligence resources. 4 Develop a list of the VCI methods of operation in the area, i.e., tax collecting, prose lighting, armed propaganda, terrorism in order of the VEL priority. 5 Levy Specific Intelligence Collection Requirement 0J specific agencies. 2. Analyze the intelligence available. L. Determine VCI patterns of activity. 2. Determine VCI routes used. 3. Determine VCI liaison activity. 4. Determine VCI support activities. 5. Determine VCI probable courses of action. 3. Assign case officers to specific areas of interest, for example. 1. VCI Village Organizations and Activities 2. VCI District Organizations and Activities 3. VCI Province Organizations and Activities 4. Camoliaison Activities 5. Terrorist Activities 6. Specific Individuals Annex A 4. Case of ISIS Build Intelligence 1. VCI Personality Targets are assigned to COT Officers 2. 
All available and formation reports, capture documents, and interrogation reports on TH individual are assembled in the VCI Targe Folder 3. VCI target personality data forms and short form offender dossiers backslash are initiated. Four VCI target folders are reviewed daily by CA officers who levy information requirement form to fill the gaps on TH VCI target personality data ORM and in TH short form offender dossier 5. Source reports, responses to information requirement forms, captured documents, Chiuhoida briefings, I interrogation reports, etc., are received by case officers who extract relevant information to be posted to the VCI target personality data forms and port form offender dossiers. These reports are filed in the dossier or an information summary is prepared. 6. Recommendation for an operation against the target is made when the database will ensure a reasonable chance of apprehension and conviction before the province security committee. V. Case officers prepare initial operations plan to be provided the action agency. Consider following factors. 1. The target. 2. The results required. 3. The support are required from member A in CS4. The forces available. 5. Operational security. 2. 6. Approval of action agency operations plan by PIOC or DIOC chief. 7. Conduct special training, briefings, and slash o rehearsals as required. 8. Execute the operation. 9. Exploit the operation and conduct critique. X. Add intelligence to the local data bank. These operational procedures should be instituted from central to district level, requiring special police to develop the plans required. All plans should be reviewed and approved by province or district chief or his appointed representative. At the district level the VEL target folders are maintained by the district special police case officers. For operational security purposes the active VCI target folders are kept in the district special police office which then becomes the political subsection of the situation section of the DIOSI. In a similar manner, normally the operations section of the DIOSI is physically separated from the message and situation sections. 3. PIOSI slash DIOSI inspection. The GVN official and the U.S. advisor must make use of detailed intelligent inspections to determine the effectiveness and efficiency of the Feng Huang PIOCE or DIOCE. An inspection checklist has been provided in Feng Huang SOP No. 3, dated February 1, 1970, pages 8 to 17. The U.S. advisor should emphasize the availability of the inspection checklist to his Vietnamese counterpart as the need arises. The use of these documents will ensure a positive Feng Huang program. Fingerprinting Fingerprints should be taken of suspects regardless of whether or not they are to be detained or whether or not they have a valid ID card in their possession. A fingerprint check with the National Police ID Service will then confirm the validity of the ID card. In cases where the card is stolen, forged, or counterfeit, the fingerprints of the offender will then be on file and where necessary a wanted listing with his prints can be published. Fingerprinting in this way will also identify and locate ex-prisoners and ralliers with valid ID cards who may again be involved in subversive activities. Further, if the individual has been previously fingerprinted in another area as a suspect this will be surfaced, will give some idea of the suspect's area of operation, and could provide the necessary information for an arrest to be ordered. Increased use of fingerprinting will undoubtedly lead to the capture of some VCI who would not otherwise be captured because of the legal status they might have achieved through legal or illegal means. Additionally, it will have a suppressive effect, both real and psychological, on the freedom of movement of the VCI. Thus, the fear of being fingerprinted may to some extent suppress VCI activity. Annex C. VCI Neutralization and Identification. Information System. The VCI Neutralization and Identification Information System is a management information system which generates a series of reports providing information on Feng Huang operational results and province security committee processing. Additionally, the system is to provide data on biographies of communist offenders and operational and judicial coordination potential. 
essential to successful specific targeting is the compilation of sufficient data on suspected VCI to determine if they are, in fact, VCI. Additionally, sufficient operational data must be compiled in order to effect apprehension. The biographic slash neutralization report, which is to be a part of the VCNES, will aid in this collection process. The biographic slash neutralization report will display by VCI boundaries, and VCI job positions within those boundaries, biographic and neutralizati dot on data pertaining to VCI holding specific positions, including aliases and additional jobs. The report will pinpoint cases where several supposedly different positions within the INF task structure, even at different levels, and operating within different GVN jurisdictions, are one and the same individual. This will result in a reduction of redundant effort in the compilation of specific targeting dossiers, and will encourage cooperation between diverse jurisdictional areas. Cross-referencing made possible by the reporting of additional positions and aliases, once the neutralization of a VCI is reported, will eliminate further time and effort wastefully expended compiling dossiers on individuals already neutralized. Distribution of the report for any GVN district or province is based on the VCI area or areas with which the GVN jurisdiction is contiguous. By clearly displaying those diverse jurisdictions which may have evidence concerning a given individual, the biographic slash neutralization report will help ensure prompt and efficient PSC processing. The pulling together of scattered information from numerous sources may result in the sentencing of VCI who would not have been convicted if evidence from only one jurisdiction were available for consideration by the PSC. Annex D. Another report WLT.in. The VCI and IIS having utility as both a managerial and opitational tool is the PSC processing report. This report contains a province by province, monthly, and year to date summary of the number of vehicle processed, their disposition, the rate at which they are processed, the time lapse between capture and disposition, and the number of PSC meetings. 2. List of commonly used abbreviations AAT, Action Arrow Team, AL, Assistance in Kind, AO, Area of Operations, Armed Propaganda Team ARVN, Army of the Republic of Vietnam. P. Combined Action Program. CAT, Combined Action Team. CDEC, Combined Document Exploitation Center. CR, Chiu Hoi IC, Combined Interrogation Center, also, Combined Intelligence Center. CREV, Combined Intelligence Center Vietnam EIDG. Civilian Irregular Defense Group Cords, Civil Operations and Rural Development Support COBN, Central Office for South Vietnam CPDC, Central Pacification Development Council CDZ, Core Tactical Zone DGNP, Directorate General, National Police Brace, District Intelligence and Operations Coordinating Center DSA, District Senior Advisor, also Deputy Senior Advisor FUMOF, Free World Military Assistance Forces. Annex E. GVN, Government of South Vietnam. JGS, Joint General Staff. MAT, Mobile Advisory Team. MSS, Military Security Service. NFLSVN, National Front for the Liberation of South Vietnam NLLO, Naval Intelligence Liaison Officer NP, National Police NPFF. National Police Field Force NVA, North Vietnamese Army OSA, Office of the Special Assistant to the U.S. Ambassador PBR, River Patrol Boat PF, Popular Forces PFF, Police Field Force PIC, Provenial Inter. Ogation Center PIAC, Province Intelligence and Operations Coordinating Center PRG, Provisional Revolutionary Government PRU, Province Reconnaissance Unit PSA, Province Senior Advisor PSB, Police Special Branch PSC, Province Security Committee PSD, Public Safety Division PSDF, People's Self-Defense Forces. 2. RDC, Rural Development Cotter. RIAC, Region Intelligence and Operations Coordinating Center TCN, Third Country National VCI, Viet Cong Infrastructure via C, Village Intelligence Operations Coordinating Center VIP, 
Volunteer Informant Program VIS, Vietnamese Information Service. 3. 